All right, y'all already know what time it is. All things sports and entertainment. So, of course, P. Diddy, a.k.a. Puff Daddy, a.k.a. Puff, a.k.a. Love, got arrested on federal charges. I originally, in my first video, reported it was state charges, but it was charges by the feds who have a 97% conviction rate. They ended up charging Diddy on um, on trafficking and uh, several other charges, kidnapping, so on and so forth. Well, he went up against a federal judge today and was denied bail, which shocked me. And I'm even seeing reports that Diddy had a, a 50, he wanted to give a $50 million bail, uh, have ankle monitoring, so on and so forth. Well, a judge felt like he would be a flight risk. I also seen the, the prosecutor, the DA, do a press conference up there in New York City. I believe it's the Southern District. You know, and Diddy's uh, right now, he's the most talked about person, uh, not only because he's a celebrity, but because, you know, Diddy can, somebody who like Diddy can fit the narrative to get things passed. Now, honestly, I'm going to be real careful on here. Um, a lot of, of, of what you're seeing is that ism he was doing. You know, they even said he got caught with, what, a thousand bottles of baby oil and tapes and all of that. I mean, y'all got to understand. See, I can't even I can't even get that deep. Never mind. Let me just say this. Let me just say this. A lot of stuff that y'all be doing, a lot of y'all, including myself, in the past would could be in the same situation as uh, Diddy. You know, and I ain't talking about, you know, uh, a force or things that shouldn't have been. I'm just talking about you trying to have a good time and so on and so forth. So y'all need to be careful. Stop making fun of him because that can happen to y'all and have y'all noticed that the face is always the face is somebody who looked like diddy is somebody who looked like me is somebody who looked like bill cosby it's all but when there's other people who do stuff you have people coming out right for instance if he didn't look like diddy you'd be like oh man you know uh uh it's gotta be some different it's gotta be trumped up charges but y'all know whatever man let me i gotta be careful on here but let me just let me just finish off with this i don't feel i don't feel bad for diddy uh diddy should have uh he should have moved definitely a lot different especially with that whole cassie hotel situation that it that definitely didn't help him um you know what you did what you did man millions of people that already happened after you put the settlement out they leak out the video of that so that was a terrible look you know what i mean so most people can't get that image out now off the top do i think diddy's going to do real prison time i'm not sure i know he got the dream team of lawyers you know like i said he's probably spent at least 30 40 million dollars the feds you know they got a, a 10 to 20 million dollar budget every year so they about to go to battle it's about to be battle of the ages you know the, the diddy's dream team of lawyers versus the feds and y'all know the feds when they come after you it's usually because they have some type of evidence they raided this crib they found what two ar-15s i believe in the uh i think a banana clip not banana but clip um a barrel a bear but i'm not sure if that barrel is legal or not i think it might be don't quote me on that but he got he got caught with, like i said about a thousand bottles of baby oil lubricant look man see y'all <laughs> if we went if we went through a, a lot of your drawers or whoever you're dealing with drawers uh and they y'all bedroom and y'all private life y'all would it would be a lot of stuff that we would all be shocked about so but like i said it's the fed so you know they got an agenda against him and when the feds got an agenda against you, unless you murder Inc., it's over. And even with them, like I said, they got bled so dry that they never came back between it. It was almost like as soon as 50 dropped, they got raided by the feds. So it was it was over, you know. So I didn't want to get my quick thoughts about it. And again, the, the record was unsealed. And, you know, did Diddy, Diddy is actually denied bond. And one more thing. Do y'all feel like this was karma? Because Diddy's always been known for being you know, uh, not really a, a friendly person. And you, you would see things like, um, uh, we'll make it a man. You got them walking on get cheesecake. And, you know, he's allegedly made threats against people or things have allegedly happened. Um, you know, so even, even a whole, when he worked for, uh, uptown or whatever, and he had that basketball game, I think heavy was heavy D there. I think heavy D might've been one of the hosts or something, but all those people end up passing away. Uh, in the early 90s from that so you know it's diddy's been in the spotlight for a long time but man the the feds it's it, they coming but like but when you have a dream team of lawyers like diddy i don't know if he'll exactly do the time that some people might believe but yeah but tell me what y'all think